Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, we will see how you can easily migrate from the USG Pro 4 to the new UXG Pro. We will see all the steps how you can easily migrate from the Gateway Pro 4 to the UXG Pro. In migration process, you need to consider two things. First, you have to forget the USG Pro from the network side then only you can adopt the new UXG Pro on that side because you cannot manage two UniFi gateways on a single side and the second thing internet connection will be down after you disconnect the WAN and LAN cable from the USG Pro and connect to that to the UXG Pro after cable connection uh, from the USG Pro 4 to the UXG Pro I will uh, configure the UXG Pro so here in connection the internet connection primary van it is connected to the uh, van uh, sfp plus port port number three on the uxd pro so i am using the fiber module uacc cm rj45 so the primary van goes to the port three and the secondary van goes to port one and similarly port three goes to the lan so uh, I will be setting up the UXG Pro using the default IP of 192.168.1.1 on a web browser. After doing that on the setup page, uh, we have to set up the uh, connections. So the ISP connection type is static IP. I will put up the static IP address, DNS and also I will set up the LAN connection on this network because right now it is on default of 192.168.1 put the previous LAN connection of that uh, DSCP IP range which is of 10.21.1.1 I will set up and I will apply the changes After applying the changes, uh, it will get reset and it will be on the default IP of address of the LAN connection of 10.21.1.1. After that, I will set up the internet connection. Once internet is connected, I will have to adopt it on the uh, controller. So for that, I will skip the UI account part and I will try to set up using uh, methods like I will give the host name, username and password of the controller. After doing that, the UXG Pro will be starting to connect to the Unify network application. Once it is connected to the Unify network application, it will ask for which site it uh, needs to be adopted. So I will choose the site and it will connect to the network application. As soon as it is connected to the network application, you will see the UXG Pro status on that site shows as getting ready and all the devices are still disconnected. So after a UXG Pro getting connected, I will remove the laptop LAN cable and connect the switch uplink ports. So after connecting the switch ports to the LAN cable, all the devices will be start reconnecting on the sides. So this is how you can easily migrate your existing USG Pro 4 to UXG Pro. So the process is very simple and uh, you need to make sure you need to be on site while doing this process so you have to make sure you have note down the of the internet connection and during migration process internet will be uh, gone down i hope you will uh, like this video and um, this video will help you to easily migrate from your existing unify gateway to the new uxg pro this implies to all migration process like uxg pro uxg Lite, etc so that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video thanks for watching bye